Hey, Josh, come chill with us, man. Uh, first official UECB interview. Official. First official interview for them, too. We got Book House yeah, in the yeah. house. Uh, we're actually out of the house right now, but uh, yeah. head in a minute. We've got a, a MC and I, an unspeakable. Brothers from Winston is actually my hometown, or not my hometown, but a lot of my family's from there. Oh, nice. But, uh, my, dad, my dad's out of the family. Uh, yeah. Love the city, man. Everything you need. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sick, man. DIY music, man. We're putting over 10 years, uh, three EPs, and an album out. Got the release of Digging Hard right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How y'all feeling, man? Good. Excited man. release good. party right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah it's man. good to be here. Good people got a good little crowd yeah, going yeah, to build yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of nice setup. Uh, Looking forward to rocking it. We've been working hard on all this shit, and, like, and uh, it, it's really weird to like even do something like this, man. Like, I don't know. I never I know, thought like, surreal, like, like you know, over ten years ago, like we were, uh, you know, we we were like fucking, like we used to roll like all of our instruments on like skateboards, like you know, set up in the middle of shopping malls and play and shit. Yep. And, like, <laughs> Like, yeah, we've only been doing like this hip hop shit for a little bit. Yeah, and, like we, I mean, we've been in all different kinds of bands and stuff like that. So it's like super awesome to like get be able to like record our own albums and stuff like that. I'm pretty comfortable with now, you know. Yeah, like, that. Yeah. We, we feel we got something like solid. Yeah. Plus, you I got mean, you got the two brothers, you know. And exactly. Like it's better to work with family, you know, because we know each other. You know, it's yeah, cool exactly. that we got something like we can share. Like you know creative, like. You know, similarities there, I'm sure. Um, been releasing music since 2010. Uh, well, I know you came in a little later, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How did that I mean, we both, we both been playing in bands like all our life, you know, like, well, not all our life, but, you know, over 10 years yeah. and, like, all different kinds of shit, noise bands, all different kinds of stuff. And, like, I moved up to Winston. He was still living in Greenville. And, like, around that time, the scene started to die down. And I started throwing my own shows and went to Salem out of my apartment. And uh, you know, Hype played a million times, Burnham, you know. Uh, he, he could, he could. Yeah, Jews and Catholics from Winston. I mean, a lot of a lot of touring bands, over at least maybe 30 bands played at my house. Wow. And uh, DIY. Yeah, it's Matches a total on the DIY walls, walls, and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> like, cops even came one time and, like, uh, Shut it down because we had mattresses over the doors. Yeah, Mike and I had freestyle fellowship. Yeah, I had Mike and I in my house, and my wife cooked uh, chicken for him. Dude, it's pretty crazy. And like the cops came, and he didn't get to play. But he's like an old school head. Some people say or would credit him as saying he'd been at the freestyle. But uh, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I moved up to Winston, and um, after doing shows for a little while, I decided like, well, I mean, I've been playing music all this long, but I would try to start bands, and it wouldn't work out. And, like, you know, I'm really, like, a fucking Nazi about, like, how this music sounds. I produce, like, most of our music and stuff like yeah. that. I wouldn't say I'm, like, right. well, I, I think Josh would appreciate me saying that I, I am the He's a rugged towards, perfectionist. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. I mean, I'm like, like, we appreciate it when it sounds raw, yeah. but, like, it was meant to be that way. Yeah, like, I mean, we, we leave little mistakes in the album, stuff like that, to show, like, growth and how it's, like, real. You know what so I'm saying? So it sounds like you're, you're right yeah, there. You yeah. Know, or you could do it. That's one of our things, yeah, like, since we were little kids and we would go to house parties and play with shows, we want to make music that, let's say if someone was here tonight that brought, like, an 11-year-old with them and they saw that, wow, look at these guys, they're going crazy, you know, yeah. I want to do that, do I can do it, play. and that's how DIY music spread, that's how art spreads, you know. But you it, takes shit, it takes years to build, man, yeah, yeah a, lot of, a lot of years, man, but, um. That's why we like how I didn't really get the ball rolling. Plus, I feel like it's good that I waited so long playing music. I was really young, and make a lot of mistakes, do a lot of stupid shit. And I feel like I like matured right on time to like start working by myself. But yeah, I started. I tried to start bands and it wouldn't work out. And um, so I decided like well, shit, man. I play fucking every instrument, you know. Uh, well, playing is really a technicality, but. Uh, <laughs> I'll pick issues. up anything, man, and put it in a, a song. Josh will be in the, in the booth with me while I'm laying down lyrics in the studio and be tapping a beer can and we'll leave it in there, you know? Like, I mean, we, we play everything. Like, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll throw anything into a fucking song, especially, like like you said, happy mistakes, you know, stuff like that and make it seem real real. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I put out these three EPs and, like, I, like, handmade every one, 300 of each, 900 CDs all together. I sent most of them out in the mail, 
to like friends or people that I admired and shit like that. And um, that stuff I basically gave away at shows, you know, here in Greenville and other places and stuff like that to friends. And I mean, I would be walking like down the street. Yeah, yeah. So anyone you can. Anybody, man. I'd be walking around <laughs> yeah. like hip hop music, you know? Yeah. Well, it's funny too, man, because like. They all got released at once, too, right? The three, was it the right? Well, I, I started like sure. doing this hip hop thing, which really it's not hip hop music either, um, in my opinion. You know, it's like all different kinds Cosmic of music. Yeah, yeah, it's all different kinds yeah. of. You gotta know everything around you, man, 360 yeah. degrees, and like, appreciate. And I'm starting to listen to stuff right now that 10 years ago, like the past me would hate. You know, I'll, I'll put it in fucking any classic rock song and be like, man, these guys got all that down. You know, shit's getting so stupid and regurgitated and like it just keeps perpetuating more like ignorant music to keep young people and like you know even like heads like me like it's starting to drive me insane like I feel like some of this music was meant like I don't know I don't want to blame any specific people but I feel like this like what's going on right now in music it's it's you know there's a series of distractions and stuff like that you're watching the news yeah, like, yeah. you're not worried about going to like check out this band and the Tipsy Team like you know it's not about like, who wears it's, it's, what? Yeah, yeah. Like, That's the difference between the mainstream and I'm thinking like yeah. the, the indie scene, you know. It's, yeah. So I made these three CDs. A lot less heartfelt, you know. know and yeah, I made these three CDs. Put them all out. There's like a couple copies left, and plans are to put all of them on like one CD. Because it's like, yeah, with some like bonus stuff with uh, Josh. But he kind of came into the fold in like summer 2011, I think. Yeah, I was, I was living in Greenville. And like uh, some shit went down, you know, and I had to I had to move back up to Winston, you know. And like as soon as that happened, man, I don't know like, the stars aligned or what it was, but I mean I felt like it was meant to be. So we started working on like fully like fleshing out like the stuff in the right CDs, you know. Yeah, and my solo stuff we'd perform it and he'd kind of be like my hype man. Yeah. Uh, and then we wrote uh, this one song called Wormwood Dreams right near uh, Halloween, and we had this guy who I was living with at the time. Who was gonna be in it with us, you know? Bookhouse was yeah. like initially the concept was like it was supposed to be a group like the white or some shit, like right, you know, right. like but like some people just, just couldn't group. get with it or like I don't know, some people are afraid. Anyway, this kid backed out. We went in there we're, to record the song, having in mind this kid coming in, and there we made we met this guy named Rex, and he hopped on and brought the whole song to life, and from then on out, like it was just yeah. like. We, we, start putting we roll, together. we roll, you know. The yeah. writing process for us is like way different than anybody else I know. Like we don't sit down and like verse, chorus, verse. Yeah, there's no like standard it. song. Yeah, like, well, it could be all mixed up and wild. Like, what's what's the mood usually like when you, the writing process is a lot like, of people say like our music spark. is dark, and I get that like a lot of different people listen to music too. That's another thing. Right? Is that uh, like not just like kids our age or anything. Yeah, yeah, we give our old stuff people. to old people and yeah, like, kids. And we, we both work at the same restaurant, and uh, I'll Richard's be giving people, place. yeah, like, I'll be giving people, like, albums, like, random people, you know, like, oh, oh you're a musician? musician? Yeah, here, dig this, man, and then they come back and they're like, dude, that was some trippy shit, man, like, it's a little dark, but it's trippy stuff. So it's one of the things everyone can appreciate, so you can't really just, you know, give it to one age group, you know, it's any Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, we're trying to appeal to, like, really everybody. Like I yeah. said, we put all different kinds of sounds yeah. in this music. Like, because we're trying to, like, catch everybody's attention, you know? I want to, like, capture the hearts and minds of fucking everybody from age zero to 100, you know? Put them apart, man. Yeah, yeah. So, but, yeah, we got this stuff started, and, like, it was supposed to be a group, and then it turned out, like, maybe it was just meant to be me and my brother, you know? Like, some special that we can... Trial and error, like, yeah. two different people, you know? And it really worked well live and stuff like that, and, like, you know, we've had some good shows and some sloppy ones, but... Well, that's I think right now, you guys, you guys know each too. other's style more than yeah. anyone else. Not to mention, you know, feed off each other. D uh, Dennis, come in. Man. Come on, man. So, come man, sit in this interview. Yeah. Uh, the local Greenville fucking mobile here. Yeah, this, uh, come over here, man. Sit with us. This is uh, a local Dunn Greenville cat. Yeah, I see him everywhere. Uh, <laughs> he's been helping man. book, promote, and uh, appreciate this like craft we call music for the past couple of years, if not. Five plus years, maybe? Yeah, it's been like five years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I joined out this past. Yeah, yeah. Year, it's so, yeah. So I've been doing this for a while. Yeah. So. But, uh, so. yeah, it's really cool that this guy like, can come on board and like get with this stuff. We've had some, like, 
really, really, it's weird because Greenville like seems to be the only town that'll really like accept us, man. We've like tried to play shows in our own town, and like, like we try to play shows in our own town and like get kicked out of venues and stuff like that, like you know, like because people like just like, oh shit, dude, these dudes are fucking dangerous, man. Like coming with this crazy. They play on the floor. Right. They don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't rap about guns and stuff. They're rapping about waking yourself up, uh, yeah. which is what what he was saying, Pretty man, light, about. Man. About people saying our music's like dark, dark or something yeah, like that. Our intention you got to go light. through the dark to get to the light, yeah, you know, yeah. like dark night of the soul. Dark night of the soul. And one, I mean, that's our music's message. Like, like if you listen to it, it's all about waking up. Yeah, it's like I mean, you can interpret it any way you want. We're not like trying to be like, all right, let's write a love song. Let's write a fucking power ballad, hate song. Let's write whatever. Like we don't. Like I said, when it comes to the the writing uh, like, the songs, like we, the mood is basically like. I don't know, it's weird, man. We write this stuff together, but... You also I, I write it in solitude by ourselves so, and yeah, like, patch it together. Yeah, so I think, to like, and we have no our ideas, music... You know, oh, coming together, like... I don't know. I, like I said, I, I'm kind of like a Nazi about, like, recording the music and stuff like that. I go in the studio. I know, shit, we got money laid on the line. You know, I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can. Exactly. And no, like, you know, I walk around composing songs in my head around at work. You know, like, half of the songs we created, I wrote washing dishes, you know. Yeah, that's well, why I came from idea, idea and joke, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of things start off as like tiny ideas and then they turn out to be like something we didn't even imagine it was going to be. You know? Yeah, I know like half the time for me it's just like while I'm laying in bed just asleep, it's just like, you yeah. know, it's any time, man. No yeah. like, it's just your environment. And you got to listen to it, like that's, that's like half the danger, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't listen to an idea right when it comes, man, just to say it will ever happen. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Just go away. Just our thing is, pain. like, we like to walk around with, like, pens and pads, you know, in our back well, pockets, you know, or print out a piece of paper and, like, write it down before it's gone. Exactly. You, know? yes. you got to catch the notes before they yeah. fly out. Yeah. Like, out of your brain. A lot of these songs, like I said, are, like, we try to keep it raw and real. Like, you know, uh, a lot of the songs I, I do are on this five-string acoustic guitar. Yeah. The trusty nine. You know, no, I, I remember that's the first yeah. time I ever saw you guys uh, play. You played that same exact guitar. Yeah, I've, I haven't and changed the strings once. Really? Um, you know, it's, it's got five strings. We recorded our first full length album only with five strings. Really? And this the electric one. guitar is five strings. I mean, it's it's funny, the electric guitar in, in the, on our first record were like through five strings. strings. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, five string. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like a whole ass vintage guitar that like burns out. Every time we like the new we're like, oh, yeah. yeah, we, we plug it in. It's like we, we are actually. We he was talking thing. about that. Yeah, every yeah, record from now until we die, yeah. we should record with only five. Well, strings. Yeah. Strings. Yeah. Whichever yeah. string it is. Everything comes on here. But really, like you know, I, I think that's kind of weird that we like. I've just kind of adapted in the past like two years to the five string thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, nobody likes that string. I don't know. We, we do stuff. <laughs> we do a lot of different sounding music, though, not just like the guitar stuff. Electronic songs, stuff where we use samples from older bands that we like and appreciate. There's like the commercial DJ sounding boom bap. Yeah, like, like nowadays, it's yeah, be close minded. minded. Yeah. And also at the same time, we, we have like, like the more like experimental, like bedroom, like darker. Homespun sounds. Yeah, yeah, like junkyard beats. Yeah, like I, I like that, to think I of our music DIY as like yeah. bedroom yeah. punk yeah. rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, that's like your signature. And I guess like another thing that I like about you guys too. Is, um, <clears throat> you guys always bring your own stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every show, it doesn't matter oh, if they, yeah, whatever, yeah. It's just like, you know, you, you bring your old, like, you know, vintage uh, speakers. Yeah. Like, you know, your old, like, you know, like, stuff. One, one of our goals always... we were talking about is uh, getting an adapter and plugging the PA through the trunk into the car. <laughs> and <laughs> just jump out, out and do a pump show please. on the side of the road for maybe nobody. Like I said, like, back in the day, we used to... Me and Charles, who plays guitar, old, yeah. he plays bass. Um, I've known Charles almost my entire life, and he was basically like you know, the number one through times. But I was like, man, I'm just gonna quit this fucking shit. He's like, dude, like, how could you? Man? Like, just, it's like yeah. it's like Pink Floyd, man. They they hit right. their. I gotta go, go ahead, man. Sorry. Pink Floyd, like you know, they got Dark Side of the Moon, but it took like fucking seven or eight albums before they really hit that yeah, like, that peak where it was like, okay, this shit's acceptable. Uh, for right now, I think this shit is like a cult. We got like our friends who really dig this and appreciate yeah. it and want to put us on and stuff like that. And like, you know, we don't have a fucking, we don't have a, a record deal, no distribution, shit like that. You know, like I said, like I make 
hundreds of albums, spent tons of money, like an indeterminate amount of time and money and effort to put out this stuff. Yeah, we are the just corporation. Do it until, That's the thing. We pay are off the one day. Yeah, yeah. I know we don't have a record company or we don't like hide behind anything like that. Like it's it'd, it'd be nice, you know, if, if somebody would help us out because I'd like to get this music to as many people as possible. And that's kind of I don't know. We're gonna play a song tonight. I'm struggling to like kind of maintain and keep the shit. But let me play a track real fast, man. No problem, bud. This is an old one. I thought it'd be cool since I have my guitar right here. Yeah. But this is a like an alternate version of a song from Rights to which is like the second EP or part or degree I put out. Uh, thanks for taking your time to yeah, watch this. But, uh, this song's called Black Cow. It's usually played on the bass. Dragon time by the miles. I go back and see the fields where I like to walk a while as a child. Found a sack of prisms, I fucked up. <laughs> I found a sack of prisms. Keep it going, so just chill. That's that black calumet, so I deal. But every day we forget, so just sit. We take for granted simple meals, life's not real. Now just we can make the Try yes, I might. I can't ignore the summer's chill. I'm headed to the spot where I got a plot to fill. Around inside a real, it's so simple in time. Another homeless Christmas, and I hit the distance grind. Sign after sign, in the valley of the gods. Religion to the light, not the barefoot nor shy. A ritual craft to Almighty and I. You try to suffer rights, I'll burn you like a cattle prod. I spill out thoughts unnecessarily, subconsciously. Charge a sigil, hit the thunder from the number three. Yeah, we are. 
are associated with all these cats. What would you say like influences all of, like is it like some bands or like, a lot of bands, dude. Every kind of different. Music, but yeah, uh, both you know, of us are the type of people where if you ask them what do you listen to, we say everything. Yeah, but not everything. like in a cliche sense. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Indian chants, everything. Like, chance, time, everything, yeah, like uh, you don't want Arab, to say Arabian yeah. music, Turkish world music, 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 everything. Yeah. 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 Mainly like a lot. Uh, the big influence in it is uh, like '60s psychedelic music, like Arthur Lee and Love. You know, we're really into like. Counterculture stuff, Nash, you know? yeah, like um, Brian Jones with the Rolling, Rolling Stones. Stones. Yeah, a lot of also like like, like yeah. punk music, especially from Washington D.C. Yeah, Fugazi, yeah. Nation of Ulysses, yeah. Bad Brains, all that good stuff. You know, uh, as far as like the sampling goes, yeah. I like there's this essay by a man or a, a person named Genesis Piorich from Psychic TV who describes sampling in a way that we relate to as a very like ethos. A magic alchemy that combines the past with the present and creates a new form of art yeah. by including something that was once experienced by multiple people. Yeah, bringing it back or like capturing their soul or reinventing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, making something old that's yours and we'll probably run into trouble in the future or we have to pay a lot of money. But it's, all, stuff we do. it's all folk music. Just make sure you're not making money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, we're like a little kid lost in the island of lost toys. You know, we can pick up anything that we want to have our own little personal playground for. Yeah. And this is this is a reflection of our inner soul. Too, so. We're not the type of people that would make something that sounds like a Led Zeppelin song and someone would be like, oh, this is a Led Zeppelin influence song. Like, no, like we show our influences on our sleeves. People know exactly where we're coming from. Yeah. We have nothing to hide, no gimmicks, no uniforms. Like, this is who we are. You know, got a fan base of Target. The MC and I don't speak in book house. Yeah. This is exactly what it is, you know? But yeah, punk music, psychedelic rock music, you know, of course, hip hop. And really, oh, what I was going to get to earlier about my early recordings, I didn't have a band to, to play with. So what I figured was, shit, I play all this instrument, I'll just produce all the music, arrange everything, write all the shit, you know, cut up samples, play the guitars, bass, drums, live drums, beats. You know, keyboards, we got an organ, a, a, a fucking wall piano, you know, we throw every kind of sound in there. And we're trying to keep like each song sounding different to show all of our influences. But you know, like I said, punk music, you know, the stooges, you know uh, anything, man. Like we're really I'm I'm personally really, really big into vaudeville like uh, like I said, junkyard rhythms. Like weird circus sounding music, like Tom Waits. Stomp. Stomp. Yeah, Stomp yeah. is pretty tight, man. Yeah. That, like our, cool. like what you're saying, though, stuff like what you guys are saying, like we're influenced, like anything in culture that, that pertains to us, we're like a, a, like an environmental. A, a magnet for it. You know, like even the rhythm of the river dancers, Michael Flatley and all that shit. Like huh. I remember hearing that when I was a little kid, and today that inspires me. I love the. Everybody stomping and clapping yeah. and snapping yeah, you hands, listen. you know, like, Sorry, if I'm blowing smoke. we want to, the audience and the musician in our act are one, you know, there is no boundaries between stage and the performer, the, the performer is invited into the audience and the audience is invited on That's the another stage. thing we try to touch on when we play, man, like, like I said, we've been kicked out of places for just doing us, you know, just being unique, we're not really, I mean, it's not like, I don't know, you know something about punk music, you know, Gigi Allen, I mean, he would take all his clothes off run around naked in cowboy boots, shit on people, grab women, stuff their faces in his crotch, you know, and <laughs> this motherfucker's a legend. Yeah, when we exactly come on trying to right. rock, dude, we've had people threaten to fucking like, kick our asses just for like coming, doing our own thing and being unique. Not using you know? their PA equipment. Playing yeah, I mean, we'll come set our own stuff up. People calling my little brother, get out of here. Yeah, it's it insane, stuff. man. It is very weird, especially since this club, I won't mention it, and, you know, it's, I mean, actually, I already think that we're blacklisted across. Actually, the state. you know what's we weird is, oh, uh, dude, it was closed down. I forgot to tell you, it was closed down. It, it no longer existed. So, 1001, I'm glad you're closed. Thanks for kicking us out. We're here still, but you're not. Sorry I knew something was going to go bad when we were like, I was sitting on the porch, everybody's drinking. I'm eating Burger King. It's really late at night. This chick, like, offered to pay us in advance, said she heard our music on the internet, really liked it. And we got up there, kicked like two or three tracks, and like she came up and was like, "Yeah, you guys aren't really with our sound thing." And I was like, "Oh, you can't hear us or something? Like, what's?" I didn't understand, and she was like, "No, you guys just kind of suck." Yeah. And that's when I was just like, "Wow, dude!" In my over ten plus years of playing music, that's probably uh, the biggest major diss ever. And I, it just kind of like I'll lay at night thinking, "You suck, you suck." It'll be playing over my head, and I'm thinking.
thinking, dude, I've, I've seen close to probably a thousand bands in my life, man. I, I mean, like, friends and, like, larger acts, you know. I've been to that many shows to where I can, you know, I can say I'm, I think I'm pretty well-rounded musically, yeah, you know, totally. and if you give us half a chance to kick our shit, you know, and, and be unique and be ourselves. We'll give you something you've yeah, never had heard before. before and like, yeah. I was thinking, sitting down on the porch, I was eating Burger King, and I'm thinking, either these people are really going to hate us, or they're really going to like this, because they've never heard something like this before. You know, we're bringing something new to the table. Yeah. And it just, yeah, it, don't it went up and smoke. Sometimes, <laughs> and they'll just but that's, down on it, that's know? the thing, though, that builds, like, confidence and thing like that. I'm the type of person and Aaron's the type of person where if you tell us no, dude, we'll do it. You know what I'm saying? If someone yeah, said, you guys... Said you need to wrap it up. So we were like, okay, we'll wrap it up. And we started kicking it. Song, yeah. I mean, it's that kind of stuff. Dude, I mean, the owner came like, and threatened to kick our asses if we didn't leave. With my pregnant wife at the time, uh, she was eight or nine months pregnant, sitting in the corner videotaping. And I wanted to release the video, but it, it never got out. It's in a music that video, kind of stuff gives, shots you, like, of it are. gives you the motivation to carry on, though, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. If you don't, we'd rather people be real. Have you got? Are you guys about to go on? Yep. All right. Well, maybe we gotta we wrap should, this up yeah. real quick. Well, uh, all, all right. right. You, I just wanted to let you guys know, just in case. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. We got uh, digging hard coming out now. Uh, any just any last shout outs you want to give to anybody? Uh, oh, dude. I mean, the, the list goes on, man. Saying, yeah. Hype with friends. Sam Herring from Future Islands, his brother Plucky Walker. Uh, William and Garrett from Future Islands, yeah. Moss of War, and Jeff Snails, Blender, Jeff. without this shit, he wouldn't, I wouldn't know anything about promoting music or getting, trying to Jeff Blender, or, also uh, effort. Brandy, Emily, Ashley, Rachel, and uh, Emily McDonald, who did the 11th Street back in the day in Greenville. They need to be Sick recognized. House, without them, Greenville would have no legitimate music scene. It's true, man. A lot of people would never have known each other. Those girls, Dino Crew represent Casey Thompson, Julia Prude. That's the names I forgot to add in there. They're awesome. They without them, this place would never exist. Uh, John Slick. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Major influence uh, on our lives. Uh, Lord really Richards and culture. Clemens, uh, John Hunter. Without him, like we we wouldn't have quite as much respect as we do. Like for good people, uh, the Kick Ass, Brian Gilroy, uh, Legion of Super Villains, Christie's Euro Pub. Obviously, can't hate on that. Darren Bennett. Oh yeah, um, Christine Stroud, Reese McGowan, our whole Dave family, Ness, our whole family. Yeah. My mom, my, my mom, wife, happy Mother's my Day. little girl. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's, yeah, happy Mother's Day. Day. Love um, mom. Yeah, like I mean, we got so many. The list just goes on. And we even have a shout out track on one of our albums. <laughs> that we yeah, have to. That we pretty much repeated you know, every name. You know, people, everybody's yeah. influenced. Me. Like I you said, we're super Shout out to you for giving us. Uh, yeah, thanks, it. Josh. Really. Josh for coming up with us. Yeah, Josh. This, this guy's known for. Uh, all my life, pretty much, too, man. Without him, I wouldn't know anything about good music. Obviously, and Expressing Alex. yourself. Alex. Yeah, yeah, my daughter. Um, yeah. But, yeah, um, all the Baltimore cats who put us on, Mickey Free. Uh, I guess like Dan Deacon. Dan Deacon, uh, those cats. Kevin from Video Hippos. That dude's really great. Chester. So Jimmy from Friends Records. What's uh, up, Jimmy? Yeah, hope you're We need to get a Jimmy to release some stuff. Yeah. Uh, all that, all that stuff. Dude, man, I feel the yeah. love, man. They're gonna see it. Charlie uh, Manson. Yeah. <laughs> dig it, man. Give a shout out, That's Charlie. That's my boy, dude. Yeah. Well, uh, all right, guys, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the set. Yeah. Dude. Good luck yeah, on your, good luck on your show, man. Thank Glad you, to come out. Uh, you guys have been heard. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks, for Thanks guys. Yeah, peace. peace. Bookhouse. Bookhouse.bandcamp.com. Pigsinspace.com. Dig in hard there. Get at us on Facebook. And this digging shit's gonna keep going. We got dig deep all night long. Gone digging. We got the solo album coming out later on this year, hopefully. Salem's Lot. It's called Salem's Lot. Check it it's out. another full length album. And the bookhouse shit should be. Uh, and a new uh, Unspeakable EP is coming. Yeah. My first solo. Weapons record. of Mass Instruction. Weapon of Mass. MCNI. Unspeakable.